I'm asking nobody to follow me. I'm asking you to get a hold of God for yourself. Because you're going to need him all by yourself. You ain't going to be able to stand for the children. The children ain't going to be able to stand for you, the parents, for one another, the husband, the wife, the grandma, the papa. Honey, when you face God, you're going to have to face him for what you knew about him and what you've done with what he showed you and how you trusted in him. Oh, God, somebody praise him. I ain't gonna deny him. What about you? Honey, he's still God. I may die with a sickness, but that don't make that he's not a healer. He is a healer. And in this life, you shall have trials and tribulations. You're gonna face it. The world's gonna face it. It's coming on the just and the unjust. But the good thing about us is we know him. We're not walking alone. Some people will blow their brains out because they think that they can't make it in this life. But we have a seal of Jesus' name. We have a strong power that we walk in in time of trouble, in time of need. And we are saved in that name. Amen. Ooh, Lord, have mercy. That message in the Old Testament, I was telling Brother Johnny today, talking as we was talking. Fiddler spoke out. And the Old Testament, people says it's done away with. Well, let's see if it is. It ain't. Where Jesus told his people, if you will return to me, I will return to you. And they said, where in hell we go? Or in where shall we return? Got blinders on. They're still going, but they don't realize that they left God. That's where some of you at tonight. Oh, God, they sent the searchlight in here to tell you, to help you, not to hurt you, but to show you where you have that he sees you. And he wants to direct your path. He don't want you to be lost. He wants to, you to make it. It's not his will that any should perish. Right, if people find again the truth and they don't want the truth, they're asking to go to hell. Right, yeah. I ain't going to fight again, no matter how hard it gets. I'm just going to take it for where I'm going to hide out. If I didn't need it, I wouldn't get it. Amen. Well, I never stepped on my toes tonight. Like Brother West said, you had them in the wrong place. Or they would have never got stepped on. You was out of the will of God somewhere. Amen. You was out of relationship and fellowship with the Word. God just steps on them and lets you know. He knows where you're at. He's just trying to help you. Amen. He don't want you to be deceived. He don't want you to get carried away. He don't want you to get your mind on, on everything but him. He don't want you to get your mind on this thing that has two horns like a lamb that presents itself like a lamb. Honey, I've had them in the last, in the last little while and three years. How that they can stand and they will cry with tears rolling. They will tell you a barefaced lie and climb in a pulpit and, and shout and shine me and shine down and say right over top of it. Is that the Holy Ghost? I would say unto you, it's a ghost, but it ain't the Holy Ghost. You will make God lie. Honey, if you're full of the Holy Ghost, it's going to bind in the vine. And he is the vine. And we are the branches. When you're disconnected from the word, then you've been cut off. But you better get back to here while well, you've got the opportunity and while well, you've got the change while well, the angel is standing with the revelation in his hand, which is Jesus Christ. He's standing there on principality and power and offering you real life. Amen. He's offering you the book. Yeah. It was closed and he stepped forth and the book was open. You know what he's saying in this hour? Come out of her, my people. He's took his dominion, his authority. God gave me more of it. The world can have the devil and everything it don't. If the devil and the, and the one that's got the two horns has got a right to tell lies, if we got a right to stand and declare the whole truth without having to flip a page because it appears somebody because they're believing in a lie and they're being damned. And I got a right to warn them and let them know what they're believing in. If they don't get to Jesus, those lies they are down and it's going to take them to hell. And I got a right to stand for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. What the name of God is this evil beast that's raising up out of flesh that gets mad when you preach Jesus. That he's the power of God. That he's the arm of God. That he holds all power. That he's the faith of God. That he's says he is. What's that spirit that gets cold and gets mad when you preach that he's a healer and they bump with you when they tell him it's a straight and now way. He's not changed for me. He ain't going to change for you. There ain't going to be the one people that's going to make it. It is only them that are found.
People try to say, well, God's got a great big number. You don't know that number. I don't know that number. All I know is what the word said. As the days of Noah. I wonder how many in here tonight are in the ark. I'm going to tell you, don't get angry, there's not many. Said, what's God? God showed me how it will be. Last Saturday night, he showed me people in this building last Saturday night that would be here before I got here, about 3 o'clock that day. See, he goes before us. Oh, God. How that he was going to offer them this book. I felt in the spirit even before it came. They would walk out. But not to take a bound back. Got a rebellious spirit bad. Made me fight. Won't self pity. Your self pity will take you to hell. It'll separate you from God. You've got to die on that rotten beast. You've got to let the word of God slay him. I've got to let him slay me daily. I've got to have the power of God. What about you? I need Jesus. What about you? I don't have to have people with me and boosting me up and telling me what I've got. I know what I've got. I know where it came from. And it didn't come from the devil. It sure didn't come from a preacher. But what I've got came out of it out of heaven from God himself. It came out of the book. What I've received. Hey, some people, they don't know what they've got no more. They're confused. They're puzzled. See, that's why it's dangerous to get around different tables and partake of it. Just one little dab will do you. A little living and live with the whole lot. See, it runs it all. Don't you think that we have a right to preach what God gives us? I'm going to preach it anyway. I'm his man. Not hard, I'm not paid. I love my salvation I have with him. I love my relationship. And I ain't losing it for none of you in here or none of them out there. They don't want him. They don't want me. Let me tell you, people are getting their final call. Some of you are getting your last call. Some of them that was here Saturday night was getting their last calls. I'm walking in a vision. And we were in the last call. The moment God set my feet in the field. I don't think what he tells me like. And you better not sit in your flesh and ignore God's voice. Because you will hear his voice in your day of calamity. The foolish went to him. After realizing to the wise, give us the oil. They said, not so must there be enough for us and you, but rather go by for yourself. They went, and while they went, the bridegroom came. They that were ready that had the oil went in with him. I'm going to be ready. I've made my mind up. What about you? I've got to be ready. If I don't want to go, I'm going on. I went this far. My heart belongs to him, not to the flesh. God. You've got to come into a place with God. Hear me. Church, every one of us has got to come into a place in God that he means more than our children, more than our husband, more than our wife. More than all, that he's the greatest love in your life and you won't betray him for none of him. You've got to come into a place with him that you won't even love your life, even though they're wanting to take it, that you will be willing like Paul did. God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Lord, this is what the world needs. And they're getting ready to get it. One more call. Because God's bringing the whore church down. And he's going to bring his seed up and they're going to shine as the stars of heaven. 
God's fixing to make his, his name known. Where is he going to make it at? In his body because he's the head of it. And I'm glad that we are a part of that. And that's why Satan has fit this place so hard. That's why he's coming. That's why he's raised his filthy hands. His deceiving hands after people even in this building. He's reached out with his claw. He's bit some of them with their things. He's a serpent. He has poisoned them. Now they're in confusion. Now they're in decision. Not knowing which way to go because they both look real. But your answer tonight is, is you don't know him. You just thought you did. 